Andhra Pradesh, post the bifurcation, has had 10 top institutions coming to the state post bifurcation. <laughs> Prime Minister Modi has never for a moment sec had second thoughts. He's always said, please, every state should prosper. I want Andhra Pradesh also to prosper. Every state should be given its due. And if it took 60 to 70 years for the rest of the states to get one by one by one in trickle, trickles coming to some states, Andhra Pradesh has got at one go within the first five years after its formation. Ten of them. And I'm not just going to say this and walk away. People say, take care, the minister said ten. Where is the ten? I'll read out the list for you. The kind of quality institutions which have come to Andhra. AIMS is set up in Mangalagiri. Indian Institute of Management and Petroleum University is at Vishakapatnam. IISER, which is the India Institution for Science, Education and Research, IISCR and IIT, both have gone to Tirupati. NID is in Vijayawada, National Institute of Design again, which comes under Minister Piyush Goyal. So if all of them have gone to different parts of Andhra Pradesh, IAFT comes to Kakinaida. Indian Institute of Packaging, which is yet to take off, I understand, is going to Vishagapatnam. NASIN, which is the center for training all IRS officers, and I keep repeating this line, if all Indian Administrative Service officers are trained in Masuri, Uttarakhand, close to Dehradun, all IPS officers are trained in Hyderabad, in Sardar Vallabhai Patel Institution. All IRS officers who take care of GST, who take care of income tax, who take care of customs, who take care of excise, who also do the prevention of narcotics spreading into this country, are to be trained in Anantapur, in Hindupur. So where is Masuri, where is Hyderabad, now where is Anantapur? You've got it here. Palasamudram, and actively you find government of Andhra Pradesh engaging to complete the project by middle of next year. So Andhra Pradesh gets the best of institutions within the first five years when the state was divided into two. Prime Minister Modi is constantly looking at the state to say, please make sure things work out, they are completed in time, and effectively help the state. So I would take this opportunity to say before the young minds, your coming to Kakinada should be seen as you're coming to the hub of Expo. Oh, sorry, I've missed out on two other things. Tribal University in Vijayanagaram. Again, you might wonder, I don't know, many students may not be from Andhra Pradesh. How many of you are from Andhra Pradesh? Oh, sorry, I should have asked the reverse. How many are not from Andhra Pradesh? Good enough. I just want to tell you why Vijayanagaram should get a tribal university. That area and further is actually once upon a time called the Indi um, tribal integrated tribal development agency area. ITDA area, short form, they used to say agency. Full of tribals. And again, for students who are doing foreign trade, Aruku coffee comes from there. It's one of the top brands for India. You find it in the high streets of Paris. You now have it everywhere during some of the best coffee expositions. Aruku Coffee is on the top league. That comes from that area. So to have a tribal university there and a bulk drug park, it's all right, it's a park. I'm talking about institutions of university-like status. But never mind now that they've told me. Bulk Drug Park comes in place near Kakinada. Other than that, we've heard the minister say textile park has also been given here.